So for the last 10 years, I've been working on a book called The Other Catholics, How Independents Are Reinventing America's Largest Religion, and it will be published with Columbia University Press in the spring of 2016. And basically, this book, The Other Catholics, is about independent Catholics. These are Catholics who are Catholic, but not affiliated with the Pope in Rome. And a lot of people are surprised that such a category even exists. But these are people who are under their own bishops, practice conventional Catholic things like apostolic succession, seven sacraments, they revere the saints, and they're very attached to the word Catholic. But they also do things that are very different than the Roman Catholic Church headed by the Pope. For one thing, they believe that it is not necessary to be under the Pope to be Catholic. And they range hugely on the political spectrum from right to left. Some of them might be more traditional than the Pope. Some of them are much more liberal than Roman Catholicism. And the ones that I feature in The Other Catholics are Catholics who ordain women, Catholics who practice same-sex marriage, pa uh, Catholics who allow priests to marry. A lot of people are really surprised that independent Catholics exist at all. And I think a huge part of that has to do with demographics. The Roman Catholic Church in the United States is normative partly because it's huge. It counts one in five Americans among its membership, 20% of the whole Catholic population of the whole United States population. And in contrast, independent Catholics maybe number about a million, a million and a half, and they're in tiny little institutions that are hard to count. Part of the push of this investigation on my part is to question what counts as Catholic, who gets to say, is it you know the Pope and the hierarchy of the Roman Catholic Church who get to define it, or are Catholics who, like independent Catholics, are pushing to define it in their own way equally authorized to do so? Independent Catholics keep pushing the envelope in terms of having Catholicism match or respond to or have um, things to say to those who feel like Catholicism isn't exactly keeping up with, for example, women leaning in. Um, and so in Roman Catholicism, there is no ordination of women. In independent Catholicism, they've been ordaining women in some groups since the late 19th century and in the United States since the 1950s. So this past fall, Pope Francis visited the United States and there was much discussion about that. In terms of independent Catholics, it's very interesting to think of who Pope Francis is to them and how he fits in thinking about independent Catholicism. He is someone who is um, you know, very much to many people's minds pushing for a more progressive Catholicism on many fronts. Um, for example, the inclusion of gay people or the inclusion of um, divorced people at the communion table or baptizing babies of unwed parents. All these things strike people as, you know, much more progressive than the doctrinal focus of his predecessors. And at the same time, you know, the Pope is still the head of the Roman Catholic Church and must contend with, you know, many of its traditions, um, including, for example, a prohibition on ordaining women. And so as much as Pope Francis is pushing ahead on some things, he represents a um, stasis. So independent Catholics looking at Pope Francis are, like so many progressive Catholics, wildly enthused about him, yet they aren't going to jump ship and join the Roman Catholic Church again. 